So I started at the University of Arizona in 2003. LGI had been established shortly before I arrived. Um, and in my first year, I took a course on computer game culture, the rhetoric of computer game culture with Ken McAllister, which was in many ways a feeder course into LGI. Those of us who were really inspired by that course ended up becoming very, um, very active in the LGI community, which at that time had a critical mass at Arizona. Uh, Ryan Muller was there, Jason Thompson was there, Daniel Griffin was there, Judd McGill was still there, um, Ken, and then a series of other people who continued to collaborate on that. Um, and they were working um, on a game called Aristotle's Assassins, which I came on as a lead artist for. And we were also doing uh, work for their cave, a three-dimensional immersive environment, um, and uh, so we got to play around in that, develop some things for uh, the Harlem, I'm trying to remember what the full name of it was, uh, it was Just Virtual Harlem, oh Virtual Harlem, thank you, uh, Virtual Harlem, which which is a 3D immersive environment that allows you to essentially have a documentary uh, spatial experience of what Harlem was like at the beginning of the 20th century. Um, and so they were trying to think of innovative ways to, to create Im immersive engagement uh, via virtual environments and games. Um, and then from there, I, uh, I continued to work with them while I was at University of Arizona working in the archive, which I'm sure they've talked to you about. Uh, and when I got my job at Worcester Polytechnic Institute, I became the regional director for LGI there. Uh, and for that, I started up the archive at WPI, and I continued to offer a series of workshops and lectures for uh, regional development and also for academic conferences.